to the morning show. Today we're actually going to show you something that may save your life or the life of a loved one. And it's health screenings. It's health screens for life. That's where we are right now. It's at Baseline and Highway 95. You'll probably notice it, but we've got to talk to the doctor, Dr. Mary Blakely. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to see you. It's good seeing you. Thank you. Welcome to the neighborhood. I love it. I bet. I bet. Now, tell me a little bit about your background, because I know you don't just come up and operate one of these machines without <laughs> having something going on right. with you. Well, I'm a vascular physicist by degree, okay. and a preventive, and my specialty in vascular physics is preventative vascular healthcare. Okay. I uh, did that for 35 years in Sweden. Really? And then came to America, and then worked at the hospital in cancer research, and then retired and opened my own practice five years ago. Oh, for crying out loud. So you retired, you could have just gone off and, and goofed off uh, for several years, but you decided you want to stay in it. Well, there was a reason that I did that, because while I was at the hospital, it was one of the best in the country. Mm -hmm. All we did was watch people die, because uh, in the United States, healthcare has not the advanced preventative healthcare that we have. Right. So it's the cancers and the strokes, and the st are, are, they, they're found too late. So the benefit of this, this health screen that we do, uh -huh. is we find it fast before your body even knows it's there. Uh -huh. You'll never have to have stents. You'll never have to have have a heart attack. You'll never have to have a stroke. And if you get well, cancer, well, at least for me, I'm afraid. No. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> and if you have cancer, which we all can get cancer, we all have cancer cells. Um, we're going to find it fast, fix it, and you're going to be a survivor before damage has occurred. And that that was the thing. I mean, obviously, you, this is preventive as as well as finding out if you've got an issue at this point in time. Right. So it's, it's we it do both. both ends. Yeah. But you have to catch it pretty early on. I mean, if a person has heart disease, for instance, at a very young age, they can be prone to heart attacks, to hardening of the arteries, et cetera, et cetera. Right. Food, uh, diet, heck, the whole thing goes together. It goes with together. That. It's a whole. So this doesn't necessarily prevent heart attacks, but if you were, if you find it soon enough, right. you can diet and exercise and work your way through it, right? right. Okay. In okay. my country, we would start at age two. No. It's done. Yes. Because uh, heart problems can show up. We can see a valve that's not working as you do. Right. Well, that little two-year-old can't tell you I have this irregular heartbeat. Right. So we pick it up and fix before you ever get to grow. Um, so it is great for preventative. Mm -hmm. But even the people out here that they didn't have this, that we find things. We use Nobel Prize winning products that help the people get on a a better path and uh, uh, helps them to live a more quality life. Now, when, well, we can go all the way. So many people don't understand that um, as we get older, we start building plaque in our, in our arteries. And obviously, down around the heart is one very important one. You don't want to love a lot of plaque. And the other is in the carotid arteries. And I will tell you this from my own personal experience. I never had an idea, although I should have, because I had several stents prior to, but I never had an idea that I had a blockage, and I believe it was this one over here, uh, to the tune of about 97% until the day I went down. I was very fortunate I came back out of it without any, well, there have been some long-lasting repercussions, ladies and gentlemen, but you've forgiven me for those. So, <laughs> yes, you yes. don't know. You don't you absolutely don't know. Don't know. Your image, the body is a, a miraculous thing. Get a blockage here, you'll develop collateral pathways for the blood to go and still right. keep you alive with very little symptoms. Right. Sometimes the symptoms are there, but they're vague. Right. So you, you just wait, and eventually you run out of a collateral pathway, and you start building it up, and you become completely blocked. Sure. And if you know, if you're at not, if, when you are not completely blocked, you could put in stents and save your life. Right. You could take a product to keep those stents from. Building up, right? And there's still things you can do if your health condition has gone in a bad way. But um, if you depend on symptoms, I'm not going to go to the doctor till I have symptoms. That is not the the, not the best way to do it. I have a, a friend who's very wealthy, and every year annually, he and his wife used to go to one of the major hospitals back east, one we all know, mm -hmm. and have a complete screening done. Mm -hmm. Part of that screening, a good part of it one of these. And we're talking head to toe. And by the time he was done, they could tell him how long he was going to live, although he objected to that. He didn't want to know. But yes. uh, nonetheless, this, this machine is very important. Now, you can check out arteries from top to bottom. 
Okay. Anywhere blood is traveling, we image it. Okay. We measure your arterial wall and see mm -hmm. what your risk for stroke is. You have a chronological age if you're 50, but your arteries could be that of a 100-year-old. Yes. Thank so, you. My doctors talk to you on it. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I'm just, <laughs> no. But so you, you, knowing your arterial age, knowing uh -huh. your risk for stroke helps us to, and their doctors to be able to do something oh, to, to stop it before it gets worse. So you take referrals from doctors, for instance, mm -hmm. who say, you know, we need to have somebody tell you. Now, I have a cardiologist that I go to up in Las Vegas, and they do one of these, but it is not as elaborate as this right. particular setup. Mm -hmm. This looks like it's expensive. It is. Yeah. Very. Big bucks on this. Very, very. How long does it take if someone just comes in and says, you know, I want one of these screenings? How long is it going to take you? 30 minutes unless I find something wrong, then okay. I go to 3D imaging. So a person could come in and have a little weight. It right. Is, the person in there is all that matters to Okay. Me. So normal, no no big issues, you'll be out of here in 30 minutes. Wow. And then obviously those records can be forwarded to their, their general we, practice. We actually give the patient their results and we don't oh, okay. keep them because in, in, in days prior, uh, prior existing conditions would raise premiums. We, we don't want to be a part of that. So we give it to you and tell you do what you want to do. Okay. When you share your results with a public, like your doctor, mm -hmm. uh, they can get a phone call. Oh, yeah, I'll fax you his, his uh, health care. And your premiums can go up. So we don't want to be a part of that. So we just put it in your hands and you can do what you want with your results. Okay. Now, one last thing. I understand you got uh, an award or a certificate or something to that effect. Saint we do. St. Children's, Children's Hospital. Children's Hospital. And that is we're so, we've been saving children sending them to St. Jude's for five years since we've been here. Wow. We find um, we find cancer in its earliest stages because we're looking before the child is sick. Right. So they gave us an award for finding it early when really anyone would have found it early if they'd have just been looking. Sure. You know? So they gave us the Covington Who's Who Award for exam for saving the children. Oh, wonderful. So, Congratulations. So we, we've been seeing lots of kids. Yeah. And, we love it. Get started, yeah. I watch kids die when I was at the hospital every day, and, uh, and, and it because it's found too late. Yeah. So we want people, if you have kids, it costs you nothing. Bring those kids in. It costs you nothing. The kids are free. No. -uh. We will not charge a kid. That's my whole what passion. Age? Up to 17. You're a kid. No. That's very kidding. generous. No, nope, it's very um, the right thing to do. Kids die. And parents think their kid is healthy, so Absolutely. they don't want to pay money to have him checked, and they die. So kids wow, are free. Up, ladies and gentlemen. We will never charge a kid. Never. Wow. Our real goal here is my passion to save lives for kids. I watch people die every day. I'm becoming quite impressed with you. <laughs> you really am. That's if awesome. you watch people die every day that you know in your country they would have been saved, yeah. you'd be just where I'm at. We're a nonprofit organization, and we're not... Fortunately, I have a husband who makes money, <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. so I don't. Th this business doesn't have to provide my bread and butter, and I can just follow my passion. Now, my husband didn't—he's American. He didn't really support the business because he's in, he's used to, you know, you just don't go to the doctor, you get sick. Right. Well, one time I, he had he contacted hepatitis from a patient of his, and I, I saved him from liver transplant. Now, every time I say I need to take this, he does it because you know it's value now. <laughs> nice, you've got it all planned out. Yep. Well, Doctor, thank you very much for your thank time. You. I really appreciate it. Best of luck to you. Thank you. I think this is absolutely fantastic. Thank you. And again, located right at uh, Baseline and Highway 95. Now, these are temporary quarters. They're going to be moving. We're going to be moved to a bigger location. But we will we'll let you know where that's going to be. So all you need to do is just kind of keep your eyes open. And, uh, and uh, kids up to 17 years old, no charge. It's a $10,000 evaluation in a hospital. What we do, we cost that parent $10,000. This is there free. No reason the kids, not to, don't, you got to bring them in. you got to get them in. You can't top that one. We'll be back with more of the morning show right after this.